What do you think is scarier? The idea that we are alone in the universe or the idea that we aren't? Why? Tell me OP. Have you read the three body problem series? I haven't read this, but the description of the dark forest theory sounds a lot like the plot of an earlier book called The Killing Star. The idea being that any race capable of accelerating something to an appreciable percent of light speed, is then also able to destroy any planet with almost not warning. Just lob something with enough mass at a planet at a 5% the speed of light and the planet will be devastated with little recourse. So, if you detect another intelligent life form, and you have this capability, you should assume they do too and destroy them first since you can't be sure they aren't thinking the same thing. Which leads to a galaxy of species laying low for fear of getting whacked. Yes. I won't spoil too much, but that comes up. There's a chilling sequence in the books where a low-ranking monitoring officer of a super-evolved race of beings on a ship just cruising through space identifies evidence of another civilization, follows their normal protocol, and just casually releases a device to destroy them. It's a simple administrative task. Really stuck with me. Why did that just give me real life chills? Read the series. Absolutely the best sci-fi I have ever read. I was tutoring a Chinese high schooler for his English test when he dove into great depths about this series. He explained something about a scenario where two civilizations that forever expanded and claimed resources in the universe would eventually have to go to war and have one dominate the other. I probably don't remember it correctly, but if it's in that series, which book is it in cause I'm really interested. I think about the ruins of ancient civilizations on other planets and how absolutely fascinating it would be to explore them. Imagine visiting a planet and the civilization was on par with our ancient Greeks or something similar. That made me immediately think of gay aliens. Behold, Galenes. Imagine visiting one just slightly more advanced than ours that was reduced to stone age technology just a few decades before we discovered it. That would be amazing. Neither is scary. Because if we're alone, then we have nothing to worry about. If we're not, then the sheer vastness of space is a pretty good indicator that we're not likely to ever make contact with another intelligent species. I find it more depressing knowing that there are so many galaxies and planets out there, that there must be billions of strange and exotic places that we'll never see or explore. We're pretty much confined to our own solar system unless we develop a technology to skip across time and space which is scary to imagine. True. How amazing would it be to planet hop? Forget Europe. I'm vacationing in another galaxy. Hard psychedelic drugs would like to have a word. Um. 5 Mio DMT enters the chat. Joe Rogan is now following you. Joe I could get the whole state of California high with my 5 Mio DMT jar. Rogan. That we are alone. Given how massive the universe is in space and time the idea that Earth is the only place where any life form exists is unsettling. Everyone seems to be assuming that other life means humanoid or intelligent. To me it just means any life form. Carbon based or made of elements unknown to our galaxy. There has to be something else. Let's imagine the life of a cell. All it knows is that it is surrounded by other cells in a small area which it thinks is its big world. I believe we are like cells to the current imaginable universe in contrast to an even bigger reality. That's how I've looked at it. If you look at the world through this lens at the size of things doesn't really matter, but how it operates, you can sort of see how the universe is all patterns, all the way down. Size absolutely matters. Physical laws work the same way for microorganisms as larger beings, because our cellular units and molecules are actually the same size. We've seen things as big as they can't get. After that they collapse into singularities so nothing can be bigger than that. Also, unlike microorganisms we have the capability to see far enough away to grasp things much larger than us. Is it possible that there is another set of physical laws governing some universe of which ours is just an atomic particle? Sure, but you can literally just say anything at that point. The idea that we're alone because it would imply that our existence is winning the astronomical lottery and this is all we're trying to do with it. Edit thanks for the silver and all the love also edit no this isn't negativity. While I do appreciate the inventions and discoveries of the last few centuries, it doesn't mean we're 100% fine to be the way we are and label all of the above as mankind's achievements. 
We weren't the ones who put in the hours. Blood, sweat and tears. Suffered sleepless nights and had days when we couldn't travel leisurely and had to grind from before sunrise to after sunset. When we couldn't spend a lot of time with family and friends. Sitting on the great works of mankind's greatest minds in history and claiming it as part of our own success just because we are also human beings does not justify it's okay for most of us to be slack. Let's all carry our own weight and make the most out of our time on this planet. They've had a couple billion years sir and the best they could come up with was making memes about a gorilla who was shot. Ugh. Not again. Let's scrap it and start over. Take 14,960. Sounds like the good place. We're in the bad place. Hang on. This is the bad place. The idea that we are alone. It gives me a feeling of loneliness and that there is not as much out there to look for. Existence would not be as interesting. Next best thing is to shoot bacteria into space and hope it hits something then we will have created aliens. Would they still be aliens if they originated from Earth? Depends if they claim citizenship there. Nah, it depends on if they try to take our jobs. Make them build a space wall. That we are alone. It would give credence to the simulation theory. Given the number of stars being circled by planets that we can see from Earth let alone the rest of the universe. The odds are laughably small that on one of those distant planets the same building blocks didn't exist. This planet is not unique. But simulation theory is the least scary explanation for why we are alone. To me it's actually the most comforting explanation. Because it means there exists superior intelligence and it somehow cares about our existence. Even if only tangentially. The more scary, depressing explanations are. We are the first. It means we're screwing up a very unlikely opportunity. We are one of many but the only one right now. It means civilizations like ours are all doomed to collapse and extinction e.g. the great filter is ahead of us. But what if it's just a science fair project and this millennia is the last day of the fair? Disappointed that the beings in his simulation only earned a 42 on the Zapid's Nomi intelligence scale, bringing his science fair grade down to a low C. Zork angrily reached down to yank out the power cord on his simulation universe project. If we are the first, we won't know if we screwed up until it is too late. Until there is only one human left alive and no potential to repopulate, we have not failed as a species. If we are one of many, the concept of the filter could exist, but is uncertain. Certainly on our planet we would be the only one either to make it past or all others have crashed into it. But we simply haven't observed enough to judge if the universe even has a filter. My personal favorite theory is that we are on a giant Truman show. They watch us for fun, and occasionally throw a curveball to get better ratings. And there I am on the toilet pondering if an Alan life form thinks we've failed. There's also the dark forest theory, that many civilizations exist, including some really hostile ones that cause all the others to hide their existence. Like we're in a dark forest where making your existence known to others would risk total annihilation. It's a theory that makes voyagers little directions to Earth, and the last century's worth of radio signals beamed out into the black. Truly terrifying. Mathematically there should be life. I think it would be far more frightening, that we are alone. It would indicate there was something very weird going on. Yeah the fact that people are the most intelligent beings in the universe LMAO. Honestly people like to it on humans a lot, but the vast majority are competent at the very least. Competency is only relative to everyone else though. If everyone is smart no one is smart, because you're just normal. Sure, we are more competent than a lot of animals, but in an analysis of only humans, half of all humans have a below average competency. Note, in this example I'm using average in reference to median, not the mean. Uh, no. Competency is only relative to the task. I might be smarter than you, but I can't suddenly do quantum mathematics. That we aren't. If we're alone then we are the best and worst of the universe. I don't want to run into a species worse than us. Valid point. Also great filters. Hopefully we've beaten the odds and have managed to secure a place in a hostile universe great video by Kurzgesagt. We haven't beaten the odds. We'd need to at least become a multi-planetary species for that. One asteroid could wipe us out at the moment. Don't forget the gamma rays. Or war. 
famine, disease, climate change, etc. I think the scariest thing is that if an asteroid hit Earth right now and destroyed everything, nothing that we know of will recognize any record of anything that ever happened on Earth. There will be nothing to account for the loss of Earth. So if there's nothing out there to do that, then it's like Earth never existed at all. Scary. Alone. It's theoretically impossible for us to be alone, but if we're the first, last thinking life forms in the universe, that's a depressing thought. Cause that means someday, the last human being will die out and that will be the end of all progress. Sure life will go on, but would another species step up and do better than us? Can they? Will they? I guess the not knowing is the worst part of it. Theoretically extremely unlikely. Not impossible. I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure Earth and mankind becoming the way they are was also an extremely unlikely occurrence. Very much this. There had to be heavy bombardments, eukaryotic evolution, snowball earths, ice ages, plate tectonics and retard frog squirrels just for us to be here. And besides, every little choice has the potential to create a domino effect of infinite proportions. Even by the time humanity was already somewhat a thing on earth, how many times do you think we dodged the road to extinction bullet? My understanding is rudimentary at best. But maternal DNA, the part that persists generation after generation, indicates that at one time humanity was down to an extremely small group it reached a bottleneck and things could have gone very differently.